Hey guys, Kate here, Utah Trikes. Welcome back to the shop. Today's video is gonna be a quick look at the EcoTad SX, which we've touched on in previous videos. Today we're gonna talk about the stock option, why it's a good option for you, and maybe a couple of upgrades that we think you'll really like. The Sunseeker EcoTad SX is the most affordable trike that we carry. It starts at just over $1,000 and it's a great entry level trike for anybody who's new to triking or if you don't have the budget for something a little more expensive but you do want to get into recumbent trikes, the EcoTad SX is really a great option. Now, this is an entry level trike. You'll probably hear me repeat that a number of times. It has entry level components, nothing super fancy. It's a seven speed, which means you just have a single crankset on the front paired with the seven speed cassette in the back. It comes stock with bangle disc brakes and locking brake levers, which is a nice feature. The padded mesh seat can be adjusted two ways. You can adjust the angle of the seat. So if you wanna sit more upright or a little more laid back, that's an option for you. You can also undo the quick release lever underneath the seat and slide the seat along the frame until you find an ideal position, which means you don't have to adjust the boom. A lot of times if you have to adjust the boom more than half an inch, you're gonna to have to add or remove chain. So being able to slide the seat eliminates that process. Because of the affordable price of the EcoTad SX that leaves you with some extra cash to do some upgrades that we think will really improve this trike and make it handle a little bit better and make it ride a little bit faster. First thing we're gonna talk about is upgrading that 20 inch rear wheel to a 26 inch rear wheel, which requires our UT custom extension plates, as well as swapping out the stock headsets, which use an open cartridge bearing, swapping those over to our Revolution headsets, which use a sealed cartridge bearing, why would we swap out the headsets? Number one, they were gonna require a little bit less maintenance. Number two, it's gonna stiffen up your handling quite a bit. The EcoTad that we're talking about today is also being upgraded with front suspension. The spindles on the EcoTad SX have the same design as the Fat Tad CXS, which is a full suspension trike, which means we can take that suspension design and put it on the EcoTad SX to give you a bit more comfortable of a ride. So without further ado, I will send you over to Lewis. Okay, so here's our stock EcoTad. So today, with this here, beautiful red EcoTad, we're gonna be putting a 26 inch wheel on the back using our UT Custom extension plates. And then for the front, we're going with the UT Custom Revolution headsets. And those are gonna be accompanied with these suspension spindles and our new Ackerman arms. I'm gonna start by, first off, pro tip guys. If you're in the lowest gear in the back and you drop your wheel out, getting your wheel back in is gonna be a pain in the butt. So, just come up here, you know, shift it so it's in the smallest cog. Cause then you have a lot more movement with the derailleur to drop out the wheel and put it back in. See how easy that was? So, we'll pull this derailleur off the extension plates. These just non-drive side has the brake mount. Drive side has this little mount for a derailleur hanger because your derailleur goes on the drive side. Then 
This one threads through the plate and then into the frame. Ah, just like that, they're installed. Piece of cake. Okay, so next step, after you have your extension plates installed, spinning on the derailleur hanger, you'll have two bolts right here. Well, one's a bolt and one's a nut. Now that you have your extension plates installed and your derailleur, new cable, longer housing. You know what the next step is? The wheel. As you can tell, new cassette, new tire, it's good to go. Voila. So that's basically it going with the 26 wheel upgrade. But that's not all that we're doing to this trike. No, it's not. This is where it gets fun. Suspension. We're gonna take these stock bearings out and that's right. Revolution headsets, baby. So if you don't have this tool at home, I recommend just taking it to a bike shop to have them do it. This is our Ackerman arm that, as you can tell, sits on top of the suspension instead of below. So then you get a compression ring, put that down. Then you get your bottom bearing, put that on there. Then go ahead and grab your top cap, other compression ring, and your other bearing and step on over here. Grab your handlebar, put that on. Top cap, well, that's the sun top cap, but what I'm gonna use is the revolution. I'll just thread this in enough so it won't fall apart. Now Kate's super busy and has to edit some stuff, so I'm gonna get the other side done and we'll catch up later. After Lewis finished with upgrades, it was time for a test ride. It's time to take it out and test the steering. <sighs> gonna climb this hill, then I'm gonna ride as fast as I can down it, and we'll see how the EcoTad handles with our Acromain compensators and the UT Custom Revolution headsets. Should handle a lot better. And be less bumpy because of the suspension. The one thing is I only have seven speeds, so climbing the hill will suck. This might get fast, so try and keep up, Kate. Well, The steering's nice and stiff. I did notice um, some pedal steer, which is as you're pedaling, say you're pushing here, the trike will turn right. Push on the left side, it turns left. That's pedal steer. Uh, 
If you're looking for an entry level affordable trike, the Ecotad SX is a great option. You also have the ability to throw on a couple of upgrades like the bigger wheel, upgraded suspension. You can even play around with your gearing a little bit and throw on something on the front end like a pinion or a schlump to really bump that gear range up. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As always, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on all things trike. We will see you guys in the next video. The next person to buy an Eco Tad that we do these upgrades on, please get a motor or a pinion or something. Seven's just not enough. I got going 45 miles an hour down that hill one time on a trike. It was pretty scary. That's for you, Mickey, from Laid Back Cycles. Baby, you, you got what I need. I've been eating chips for breakfast, because... Am I a, a true trike rider yet? There you go. Trying to flex. Because of the affordable base trike of trike. Oh my gosh. Ugh, good thing I'm so ripped.